After a couple grueling days, things are speeding up. And then we can start working on the nightmare that is going to be the upper roof. Everyone is all hands on deck, even the dogs. What are you doing on the roof? You're not supposed to be up here. But today is about more than just roofing. I'm freaking out a little bit. We have some very important guests coming up. We've been waiting for this moment for almost four years. Oh my God! <laughs> What's up guys and good morning. We are getting a nice early jump on things today. Allie is actually not going to be here for most of today or all of today, I'm not exactly sure. She's got some other things going on, but Brandon, Grayson and I are gonna be out here busting our butts pretty much every day that comes more uh, like available to view in the forecast. So like as of today, we can see until next Thursday, tomorrow will be until next Friday. Every day that we can like see further into the future, there's more and more snow. So right now it's Monday through Thursday, snow every single day. And at this elevation, that snow can really pile up. So it is absolutely imperative that we get these roofs on. We've got about 80% of the lower roof framed. We need to do like some rim board and some eaves and a couple more joists. Then we can actually throw our sheathing on and then we'll be able to move to the big high roof, which is probably gonna be quite a task, but we are uh, up for the challenge and hopefully we can get it done before the snow starts flying. But without further ado, we're gonna get to work. I could never settle down Too far away from my hometown With my family I am back I stick by them till I'm in the ground Well, we've been out here busting our butts. I've been trying to do my best to work and film, but honestly, right now, the priority is on working and trying to get these roofs on before the snow starts flying. And I know you guys are probably so sick of hearing us say, oh my gosh, the sky is falling, snow, 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 snow. But this storm that's coming right now could be the last storm of, or the first storm of winter where the snow doesn't melt. So it is actually really intense, but we have got our eaves framed out over here. We've got all of our rafter tails cut. We've got all of our blocking done. This thing is uh, almost ready for sheathing. We just have to put up our fascia pieces on each side, get those completely nailed on, drive the skid steer over here with some roof sheathing. We can start knocking this out. And then uh, this side of the house will be one step closer to being waterproofed. Whoa! pieces of the fascia completely installed so now this roof is entirely ready for sheathing it is 1245 which means we have about four hours and 15 minutes and I think we can do the rest of the sheathing today all right so 
we got the sheathing back here. Now that we've built this eave on the side of the house right here, it's pretty tight back here. So that's something that uh, I guess I thought about at one point or another, but didn't really realize it was gonna be as big of a problem as it is. Probably gonna have to do a little bit more excavation back here, but that'll happen in the spring. It's not gonna happen this year, that's for sure. So we're gonna cut these bands and we are gonna start throwing up this roof sheathing. Hopefully we can make quick work of this. All right, I had to run inside, change batteries in the camera, get a drink of water, grab a cookie, give myself a little bit of energy. We are making really great progress. It is only 2.15 and we're like 80% of the way done. We have uh, that much done. So we have like two rows and one more sheet left. We'll probably bust this out in the next 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And then we can start working on the nightmare that is going to be the upper roof. What are you doing on the roof? You're not supposed to be up here. Our uh, stack of sheathing that the skid steer is holding is like just tall enough that Lika can jump up on the sheathing and then she can jump up on the roof. So now she's uh, up here hanging out with us. Oh, is that a good girl? Is that a good girl? Is that a good girl? We gotta get back There's to work. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground Far from a worries and trust sound when I go there to be by myself only me no one can guess what I came there to see there's a sun in the sky there's a cloud drifting by all kinds of birds make you wish you could fly and in the distance I see someone waving at me All right, and just like that, we have a roof, baby. We've got one roof done. Now, the second roof is obviously bigger and higher, and you guys are really dirty, I'm sorry. The second roof is bigger and higher and has higher consequences and is going to be a little bit trickier, but it's not as complicated as this roof. This roof had these hangers with a giant ledger board, which required tons of lags. It required tons of nails. It required two TJIs per hanger, just a lot of work. There's 42 TJIs in this roof right here. And then over there, there's 34, but there's only 34 because the length is cut into two pieces. There should really only be 17 TJIs, but we're doing them in two pieces so that we're not trying to manhandle a like 44 foot long TJI, you know, 30 feet off the ground because that would just be disastrous, I already know. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting wood down to use for web stiffeners. I know, Brandon's favorite activity. And we're gonna get some web stiffeners done. Once we have all of our web stiffeners ready, we're gonna figure out the lengths that our TJIs need to be, where the web stiffeners need to go. We can start building our first TJIs. And it's 3.15, so I do have a meeting in 45 minutes that I have to jump on on a call. Um, we're gonna see how far we get, but tomorrow we'll probably start hanging those TJIs and it's going to be exciting. It's 
crazy how dark it gets in here once you put a roof on. We're gonna need lights pretty soon. That part of the house, uh, the windows do not face south at all. In fact, most of the windows on this part of the house or this part of the addition do not face south. So needless to say, we're gonna have to get some portable lights or something so that we can work in here throughout the winter because once the roof and all the wall sheathing goes on over here, it's gonna be dark up here too. Oh, it has been quite the day. We did get one roof completely finished. These guys are doing a little bit of uh, sheathing over here on the one of the rake walls. And we're basically ready to start doing rafters tomorrow. Not gonna do it today, but we did get this roof done. Looks pretty nice. Also, look at how close the clearance is on this window. Literally not even a millimeter. You could not slide a piece of paper underneath that window and put it on top of the roof. That's wild. But I think this is probably where we're gonna call it a day. It's late, we're tired, we're hungry, we're thirsty. We made a lot of progress today and we'll be back at it tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We are waking up to a gorgeous fall day. It's absolutely stunning outside. I'm freaking out a little bit. Today is a huge day. We have some very important guests coming up who we haven't seen in a very long time. We have been waiting for this day for years. Three, maybe f almost four years. It's gonna be huge. I cannot wait. And there's lots to do to prepare. It's a little bit muddy out, which is unfortunate. Um, and I need to run to the grocery store and get some stuff because we are out of all food. And in the meantime, of course, Trent, Brandon, and Grayson are trying as hard as they can to finish working on the roof. They got one roof over the living room part of the addition, fully sheathed yesterday, which is unbelievable. And today they are working on this other side. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Ooh. Wow. This is going to be amazing. Imagine I'm walking through French doors onto a little patio and behind me is a nice little living room with a couch, maybe a little wood-burning stove. Just a little bit of a bigger space for us to hang out so that our current living room can become an actual like kitchen dining room because right now we don't have a table to sit and eat dinner at. And that's an important part of our nightly routine is eating dinner together as a family. When we have people over, we always want to eat together. So turning that space into a dining room table, I think is going to be huge for us. <sighs> this looks amazing, I'm really excited. <laughs> wow. Looks pretty stunning. Oh yeah. There's a couple drips inside in the living room, but it's because it's not taped or gooped yet. So not a crisis, it will get fixed. In the meantime, I just spoke with our important guests and they're gonna be here around 12. Okay. So I'm gonna run to the grocery store. Okay. I've gotta run some errands too, but we're trying to get layout done. We're trying to figure out the depth and the length of our TJIs so that Brandon and Grayson can start busting out all the web stiffeners. And then hopefully when Allie and I get back from our errands, maybe around the time or hopefully before our special <laughs> guests show up, we can actually start throwing up these joists. Maybe our special guests will help, but <laughs> either way, there's not actually that much that has to be done on this roof in order to finish it and get it like to the stage that that roof is at. And we basically have three days. So hopefully luck is on our side and uh, yeah, let's get to work. It's a web stiffener kind of day. It's been all week. All week. <laughs> That scared me. If that was the windows, we are not ready for that. Maybe they're just turning around. They might be. The windows for the addition are scheduled to be here today or tomorrow, but we haven't gotten a phone call from the delivery company, as far as I know, unless they called Trent and he forgot to tell me. 
um, scheduling that delivery. That might have been them. <laughs> We're not sure. Huh. Okay, not for us. Great news. I went grocery shopping. Trent ran a bunch of errands. The house is partly cleaned. I think our special guests will get it, considering we have some very similar life circumstances going on. I don't think they'll be concerned that our house is not perfectly cleaned for them. But we are trying to finish up a couple little things right now before they get here. And they should be here in like 45 minutes. We're really excited. We haven't seen these guys in years. So we're really excited to have them come up and hang out and see all the things we've been working on. But there are still some snowstorms in the forecast. So we are trying to bust our butts and get this roof on as quick as possible. I've got the layout done on our load bearing wall here and our end wall down there. We've got all the web stiffeners done for our lower pieces that are going to go on this wall. We're ready to start putting these things up. All right. She's in. That's pretty cool. This roof looks amazing. To the untrained eye, it just looks like a roof, but to me, it looks like a roof, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> you scared Wait a minute. <laughs> like that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know if it's the warm before the storm or the weather gods took pity on us, but it's like a warm, hot, sunny summer day. I should be in a t-shirt and shorts right now. I am definitely too hot. It feels amazing out here. It feels like let's go for a summertime hike. The leaves are yellow and red and falling off the trees, but if it weren't for the leaves, you'd never know that it was almost winter. Um, we are supposed to still get a bunch of snow next week, but I'm starting to feel like we're in a good place with the roofs. We uh, have our annual uh-oh, winter is coming party happening this weekend, and we've called everyone we know to come up and help. Kevin is coming. Some of our friends who have helped in the past, Brian and Sean are coming. Um, it's kind of like, that weekend where we realized this might be the last weekend to get a bunch of outdoor work done, let's call in some reinforcements. So we have a couple days before that happens and we're still trying to get as much done as we can in the meantime. And honestly, it's going well. We just need to, you know, stay focused and make it happen. Need a paper bag up here. It's not working. I put those paper bags on both of the doors because I read somewhere that that deters wasps. It looks like a decoy wasp nest. There are wasps in the crevices of the door jam at the top of the door trying to get inside. If anyone has any recommendations on how to prevent wasps from trying to get into your house, I am all ears. <laughs> All right, well, already my favorite part about this roof going up is that there's a little bit of shade over here, especially since it's a hot summer day. Does that feel nice? Feels great, you should try it. <laughs> How is it over there? Not bad. Good. A little sunny, but it's always sunny in Philadelphia. That's what they say. Not true. It's not true. I gotta flatten it. Push it up through a different hole. <laughs> Mine? 
Watch the feet, make sure it doesn't slide. Well, that brace will stop it from sliding too far. At least I've got it so you can get up on the ladder. It's not going anywhere. You just take it all the way up. It's got to go over the edge. We kind of need another ladder. Yeah. Right there. And off your shoulder? Yeah. I just don't want to rake your shoulder as I slide it up. Sheathing climbing? What Boy, that the? That one is a wiggly one. Whoo! Trent. You're not that young. Get off of me. Get off of you? You're talking to me or the bee? Oh. <laughs> Holy moly. Alright. You gonna be able to hand it up that high? I way? don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Tape. It's at 90 and 7 8. I just got a notification that our friends are 35 minutes away, so we are going to do as much as we can in that time. And uh, I'm getting excited. We're going to see them so soon. Do you have any guesses of who this might be? If you think you know who's coming to visit us right now, leave your guess in the comments below. I sure hope this is right. Uh-oh, don't tell me that. I'm pretty excited. Our friends are right around the corner, and uh, if you haven't guessed yet, now is your last chance. I'm You'll never guess. So You'll never excited. guess. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh! Here they are! Woo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! 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 Oh my what a ride. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Hi. She's like, why are these people freaking out? <laughs> She's like, are you sad? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm happy. We're Yay! so happy. Leo is so excited to play with you. Do you want to go, go beat Leo? Leo? You want to go play with Leo? Oh my god, my heart is pounding. I can't believe it. Dude, it's so oh good to see god, you guys. So oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Dude, what are you doing with your hat? Don't, like, don't make me get my cowboy hat. It's literally <laughs> falling. It's getting smaller every day. It's like falling apart. That's but. hilarious. <laughs> Hi. That's my Hi. eyebrows. I'm kind of dis disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I do that all the time, not meaning to. Do you remember we were practicing her name? You can say Sadie. <laughs> what a sweetie. He honestly was saying it, and he doesn't really say any names yeah. very well. And yeah. Like, do you want to give her a high five? She looks way more high entertaining five. than he does. Oh! Yeah, oh! That's a good <laughs> high five! <laughs> yeah. Good job! Can you believe this? This insane. is insane! These are our babies! This is absolute <laughs> madness right now. I was just saying, like, I feel like we've gone through so many lifetimes since yeah. the last time we saw each other. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, oh yeah, we just saw these guys. Like, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> it feels like truly lifetimes. We have babies now, we have a house now. Businesses. Businesses yeah. now. Like, it's crazy. A lot of animals. Everybody has more animals. <laughs> Yeah. Well, come in. It's so strange seeing this online. I'm not that. I'm not that high of a standard. Oh, there's a lot of pressure on this right <laughs> now. Immediately, is like make me a coffee. Oh. Oh, no. All right, we want a uh, triple stack tulip, please. <laughs> I'll try again. Oh All my right, God. I, gotta, I gotta get a sip of the espresso straight up. Okay, so if you don't know the nomadic movement, this is Jordan and Kaylee. They are some of our best friends. We used to travel together. It feels like lifetimes ago. It's actually, it's been a long time. It's been since 
20, August 19. of 2019. And we haven't seen them since August of 2019. So it's so surreal to have them like in our house right now. It doesn't make any <laughs> sense gorgeous. in my brain. And they have since uh, started a very successful and delicious coffee company. And Trent is now trying his best hand at making them a latte. <laughs> a lot, a high bar he has to meet right here. <laughs> A little mocha squirt in there. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> mocha squirt. Now that you tasted the espresso, you <laughs> he's doing it the right way, honey. He's pouring it into the into the espresso. Oh. Give it a little stir. Yeah, wow. You gotta make sure it like, melts. You know? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, you're gonna get like lumps. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. All right, your latte is right. significantly better than mine. <laughs> Wait, that's actually like Beautiful. mind blowing. <laughs> it could be way better. <laughs> it's really wait, bad. wait, wait. The the final test is the taste, right? Yeah, that's what we drink, everyone. This is the cop. This it is tastes the cup like that I make. Tastes, tastes like marshmallow. Like marshmallow. <laughs> marshmallow. It's nice though. That's what I'm talking about. You want it to taste like a marshmallow? Mm. Marshmallow, doesn't it? It's like nice. It's like a s'more. Mm. It's all about the milk. That's actually really. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's really. You guys are hired. <laughs> See you later, alligator. <gasps> Where are you going? There's like Where's the first my first tiles? I'll, I'll hold that. You Can wanna you grab his hand? Hold that. Okay. Can you hold Sadie's hand to come downstairs? He wants to do that hand. Okay, that's that's good. Good. Both hands. Both hands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, come on down. Wow. He wants to hold your hand. Yeah. You guys are doing so good. Come on. I love her talking. Where are you going? Chapstick? Yeah, we can get chapstick downstairs. Jordan and Kaylee are actually how we know Dean, our amazing friend and HVAC professional. And we spent the afternoon together talking van life, house building, and just catching up. Thanks for coming up. It's yeah, good to we'll see, see you. we'll see you guys real soon. Okay. These guys, three more years. We'll break something so that we can see you soon. <laughs> Bye. 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 You guys are all the cutest. We love you, Uncle Dean. Have fun. Thank Wait, you. Bye, Bye. Getting, like, Bye Uncle Dean. It has been such a fun night. I actually ended up making a big tray of big ziti. We had salad, we had bread, all the kids, all the kids. There's just two of them, but it feels like a lot. They all played. Everything has been magical. And like I said earlier, honestly, just so surreal. My heart is very full. It's been so long since we've seen these guys. We're gonna share so many stories and reminisce about all the things that we did together. And it's just like, even though we haven't seen each other for so long, it's just like we just picked right back up where we left off. That's true, 100%. That's amazing. I'm filming Trent Nelly behind the scenes right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> just like the old days, you got two cameras on your eyes. <laughs> no. Sleep well, let us know if you guys need anything. Thank you guys. And yeah, then, we'll, uh, be, we'll be in here for coffee in the morning. Perfect, I'm excited. Yeah. Well, guys, it has been absolutely amazing having Jordan and Kaylee come up here and visit us. We're making progress on the build. Things are going great, and I feel really good about winter that's coming. We both just are getting ready for bed and so grateful that Jordan and Kaylee and Sadie took time out of their really packed schedule to come all the way up to our house and spend some time together. It has been amazing to reconnect and share stories and see them again. Yeah. We absolutely love those guys, and we're so grateful that they made the journey up here to see us. And now it's our turn to head down to Panama. I know! So let's go! Maybe that'll happen sometime soon. But <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this adventure, make sure you guys show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you, guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios! Adios.